Hey, what's up guys, it's Andrew, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the DPI on your Android smartphone. Now, I'm going to be doing this using an HTC One M8 and my Mac, but you could also use a Windows or Linux PC as long as you have ADB installed. Now, this does not require root because we're just using ADB on your uh, computer, but you will also need to have USB debugging on your Android enabled as well. Now, Choosing your DPI just depends on your personal preference. I personally like a DPI of 400 on my HTC One M8, but that just depends on what you like. Check out the full guide linked in the description below to get a um, a few screenshots of various DPIs and you can use that as a guideline to pick yours. Now once you have your DPI um, chosen, you can go ahead and flash it. But before we do that, you're going to want to make sure that you have your original DPI written down somewhere. If you do not know what that is, go ahead and enter an ADB command in order to get that. Um, just go ahead and copy and paste that from the guide because it's kind of uh, lengthy and you could um, possibly put in a typo and not get the correct uh, output from it. So once you run the command, you're going to get an output that looks something like this. And you're going to be looking for the part that says density and that is your uh, original DPI. So make sure you, you write that down somewhere because there's a possibility of apps becoming incompatible with your phone if you change the DPI. And that's just because developers uh, limit which devices have access to their apps. So if you ever get an incompatibility notice on an app that should work with your device, just go ahead and go back to your old DPI and then flash that again. And once the app is installed, go ahead and migrate to your custom DPI. So in order to actually uh, in, apply the new DPI to your phone, all you have to do is enter the command adb shell wm density 400 and that and, and adb reboot. That's just going to reboot your phone afterwards so that you can actually see the changes applied. So after you hit enter and let the command run, your device will restart and then once it reboots, you will get your new DPI and that's pretty much it. Alright guys, that'll do it for this video. Be sure to check out the full guide linked in the description below. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.